Independence fever is in the air. Things really take off this weekend, starting tomorrow with National Pride Day, which will be observed. And you're being asked to display the national colors on tomorrow. To give you a preview of tomorrow's festivities, our Clint Watson is downtown and joins us live where everything will kick off. Hello, Clint. Keisha Rawson Square is undergoing a major transformation at this hour, all in preparation for tomorrow's independence celebrations, which will kick off here the, for the entire week and really, really kicks off the celebration for 2012, which would all begin with the National Pride Day. As you can see, work crews are coming in, erecting tents, uh, putting in all the decorations. You can see the frames of pictures that were here for the previous celebration for the Queen. Those have been t have been taken down now, and those will be replaced. You'll hear, you'll learn in a few seconds by familiar faces. Of women who have paved the way uh, for our country and paved the way for women in our country. We're expecting celebrations to begin tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock. I'm joined with committee member Ida Poita Turnquest, who is a part of the Planning Committee for Independence. What can we expect tomorrow at National Pride Day? Well, you know, first National Pride Day is when we deal with everything Bahamian, where we show our pride in this wonderful country. And so tomorrow, as a part of National Pride Day, we have decided that we would showcase the women's suffrage movement. You know, in November, they will be celebrating 50 years. Yes. And um, so we've taken out some of those women to honor and to celebrate because we're sitting on their shoulders. So I take it that these empty frames we see will be filled with familiar faces tomorrow. They'll be filled with familiar faces. There are over 60 women um, pictures that you will see. There will be other items as well, like the first, uh, well, what a voter's card looked like back in 62. Um, and we will just have a wonderful time celebrating what women have done in our society, as well as, you know, we, we just think it's just a male society, that they were the only ones who did everything. But our women were really the stronghold. Sounds like a great exhibit expected. What time will the exhibit open and, and what should people expect when they come down here? Now the opening will be at 10 o'clock. We will have a short ceremony. The Prime Minister and the Governor General will be presenting and Marion Bethel, a lead attorney and a committee member of the suffrage movement. She will be speaking to that event. And following that, we will have our flag raising which is all part of National Pride Day. Then we, that will be followed by our all afternoon free entertainment. Now we have over a thousand chairs in the square. And so we're asking persons to come down, bring the, especially families, come as a family yes. to see what is going on, to really see who these women were, learn our history. Because you know, if you don't know your history, you don't know where you're going. Very so true. we're hoping that persons will come down and see these great women. All right, thank you very much, committee member Ida Poitier Turnquest. And of course, you're, as she said, you are encouraged to come down here. Tomorrow's National Pride Day. That means you are to wear your Bahamian colors, wear Bahamian t shirts, anything that's Bahamian as you go to work, as you go to summer camp, go to if those of you who have school, those of you who are just lounging. Tomorrow is your day to show your true Bahamian pride spirit and come on down here to Rawson Square. It'll be blocked off. As you can see, the trucks and the trailers are now piling in. They're going to be here all night, transforming this entire city center to National Pride day tomorrow here in Rawson Square. It sounds like an exciting time. And of course, TV 13, your one and only news leader, ZNS Network, will be here tomorrow to bring you coverage. For those of you who can't get down here, make sure you tune into our broadcast tomorrow. Back to you, Keishla. Thanks a lot, Clint.